So, um, then the authors go on saying experimental results show that such prediction is indeed um, realistic with reasonable accuracy provided the missing values are handled with care. So basically experimental results show that you, are, you can actually predict whether or not um, you're going to get Huntington's disease by MRI uh, uh, with like uh, several years in advance. So uh, it tells you if you get Huntington's disease in several years if you do MRI now. Uh, or rules out it. Um, anyways, uh, then they go on to say, um, in particular, uh, multiple imputation ELM achieves uh, exceptional prediction accuracy, uh, which is encouraging. Exceptional prediction accuracy sounds uh, sounds pretty cool. Um, so, multiple imputation ELM. Um, what it is, multiple imputation, is is actually uh, uh, a very known term in mathematics. And uh, what you do is you have the missing uh, a data set with missing data. So this is a data set, your, your data set uh, with missing data. And then you fill in the missing data, you know, based on the known data. Um, and, uh, and you get this, this data set. Uh, but when you fill in, you use a distribution um, with like, say, you, uh, you know, for, for one missing value, for example, uh, you're say drawing from a Gaussian distribution or something uh, with a mean of two, so it's the missing value is probably two, but it might be one two point five or it might be one point seven. So, but you know that the missing value is about two. So in this data set, say you say that the missing value is two, and then you have this new data set with the filled in value of two. Then you uh, you do it again, uh, but you randomly sample and uh, from that. Gaussian distribution and maybe now it's uh, 1.9 so in this in this data set the missing value you filled in is 2 and this one is 1.9 and then you just do it a few times and then this one might be 2.3 uh, and so you have this different data sets each with a filled in value that is a little bit different all on average too and then you do the your analysis on uh, using each of these um, imputations um, and then uh, you get the result. You get the answer. Say, you know, how many years in how many years you'll get Huntington's, and then um, it will be a different answer because these data sets are different. But they will be similar because you're only you only have one missing value, and it's it's around two. You know, it's close to two, but you don't know, you know, what it is. Uh, but then you just uh, get the you take the average of the answer. For example, I mean, you may use different statistic, maybe not the average, maybe. I don't know some some other uh, result of combining your your answers from this different uh, things. So that's called pooling. You're you're pulling from this generated data sets, and this is I think bootstrapping. Anyways, um, I can show it. Uh, here's another um, thing. So this is your data set. For example, you see a lot of missing values, and um, you use some method to fill them in. I, from the known data around, or all known data, depending on what method you use to fill in the values. And that's why extreme learning machine is good, is because it's super fast. And here you can see that you have to do this uh, filling in a lot. I mean, you have to do it like 50 times. 50 times you have to calculate what's your prediction of this missing value. Um, and the extreme learning machine will predict every time differently, so it will give you imputations automatically because it randomly generates the uh, hidden neurons. So uh, as long as you generate a new extreme learning machine every time, it will give you a different value here, which will be close, you know, there will be similar, but it will be different. And so you do that, you know, 50 times you run extreme learning machine to predict this missing values, and then you get you get your first filled in data set. Then you run again 50 times to extreme learning machine to fill in these values, and you get a different, slightly different filled in data set. And then based on that, you do your predictions, and then uh, you combine the results. So that's what um, uh, uh, multiple imputation ELM is.